If you're American, when you walk into the bathroom, and American, when you leave the bathroom, what are you when you're in the bathroom? I I don't don't know. know. (laughs) European. Oh, my goodness. What a knee slapper. No. Wait. You got to... Wait. As you guys can tell. Welcome back to today's episode of Small Town Big Ideas. I'm your host today, Annika. And for the first time in I think forever, we have an all female cast today with Woo. no adults. Flower power. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we have Ashlyn. Say hi. So. Anything interesting with you going on? No? No, not really. All right. And then we have Abby. Hi, I'm Abby. (laughs) Really? What is going on? We got a volleyball game tonight. Yeah. It's going to be a great game. We also got like six feet of snow the past two days. Six feet? That's like... It's been pretty thick. Wow! It's... Okay. (laughs) We're overusing these buttons. It's great snowman building snow it is literally melting so fast because it's not really like super cold out so it just melts and it's thick and slushy and we got out of school early yesterday yes we did that was great no practice no nothing i took a nap when i got home and ashlyn and i built a snow fort is it still up today yes oh no one has knocked it down yet it kind of looks like just a big wall with two other walls. Yeah. And right. a door and a window. <laughs> it has a right. door. And it swing a window. Open? Yeah, it swings open. We are ice No, builders. it doesn't. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks. So today's kind of sort of little topic um, is, okay, well, side note. I kind of forgot I had to do the hosting job this week until like a couple days ago. And Mr. Igo told me to find an old newspaper. And I was like, hmm, I bet you I got some out at the old Lundy house. So I asked my mom, and you know what she found? Well, okay, first off, my grandma, you know, Dolores. Hey, grandma. <laughs> Hi, grandma, if you're listening. <laughs> yeah, which you're not. Anyway, she, um, every day or every year on each of my siblings and I birthday, she collected the paper. So she lives in Miles City, so these papers are all from Miles City, but like, I have a paper here from 1999 on December 8th, which is my brother's first birthday. That was that. And I also have a paper from my parents' first year of marriage on August 13th, 1993. That is actually kind of cool. She has a box of them everywhere, and I just grabbed these because they're the oldest. See ya, Donald. (laughs) Our little cleaning friend just left us. Cleaning friend? Yeah. (laughs) Okay, anyway. So, um, where are we going with this? Good question. What paper should we start with first? I think we should start with your brother's first birthday. I hear it too. What is that? Do you guys hear that? I think it's from outside this room. Oh, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but Mr. I goes (laughs) Taylor Swift is going (laughs) off right now. So, um, I guess that's just what you're going to hear. Anyway, what, um, what, uh, year do we want to start with? I think we should start off with your brother's first birthday. All right. Um, wait, what year or day? December 8th, 1999. If you're listening, she did not forget your birthday. Yes. He is going to be 23 this year. Holy moly. Yeah. Yep, 23. 23? He's old. He is old. So, first off, (laughs) excuse you, Ashlyn. That was inappropriate. Excuse me. Okay, (laughs) anyway, the paper back then, guess how much it cost per cents or like cents for paper? 10 cents. For a newspaper? Were we in the 1800s? It is 75 cents. Whoa! Oh, is it right now? For yeah. the Weibo paper? Yeah. Oh, well, this is the Miles City paper, so it's bigger, but it was also 75 cents in 1995. Oh. Look at me. Um, it, isn't it 1999, you said? Oh, yeah, that too. What did I say? 75? No, 95. 95. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the first thing up, the uh, lottery numbers for that day were announced, and it was 2, 18, 33, and 78. Wow. Did yeah. you win? No. My 
Actually, my grandma won that. No, she didn't. <laughs> it, it didn't say how much money it was for, so that's kind of dumb. But if you guys won the lottery, what would you buy? Say it was only like a million dollars. A big bag of those goldfish. You're welcome. Sponsored to you today by Goldfish. The snack that smiles back. Goldfish. Oh, yeah, that's when they say goldfish. <laughs> oh, shoot. Anyway, what would you actually buy? Like, seriously. Like, you have a million dollars? Yep. You want it. Oh, man. Haven't There's we so talked about things. this before? Yeah, yeah we but have, but I don't remember. And yeah, I honestly, it's probably changed since then. Yeah. I feel like if I had a million dollars, I'd probably want to buy a house, like a, a big house. Where at? In the mountains somewhere. All right. Ashlyn? Yeah. That sounds like a good plan. I th- I'd go with that, too. You're not going to buy one. You're going to move in with Abby. <laughs> no. Probably. No, she'd probably live with somebody else. Anyway. Unmentionable. <laughs> um, also, oh, this is kinda, What would you buy? Oh, um, probably a house or a car or both. <gasps> what kind of car? Dodge Challenger. Of course. Always um, the Dodge yep, Challenger. Mercedes Benz. Mm. What do you think Ryland would have bought? Mm. A Walking King Dead, Dead Mobile. <laughs> <laughs> That's a thing. Um, okay, this is kind of interesting. So, there was a reward for $200 for a missing cat. $200, $200? for a missing cat named Rupert. And he Rupert. was 13 years old. But, like, if you think about all the cats that are hanging around Weibo, literally, we could all be millionaires right now. No kidding. $200. Wait, $200 for a cat. To find and what, a cat. Yeah, okay. And what, what was I going to say? Oh, what, like, how many years does it take for a cat to, like, eventually die? Well, because it's if it's 13. 13 years old, I feel like that's pretty old for um, a cat. Some of them. Don't they? Can't they go to twenty? Probably. Maybe not. I they don't know. do have I don't nine like lives. Cats. No, they don't actually. That's just a saying, Ashlyn. Silly. You don't know that. Yes. I mean, we I could know find. Average. <laughs> anyway. Um. Oh. Oh. Here. Okay. This literally has no point of back then, but this I have something to say. So NASA, they had lost three missions, like that they sent out to Mars in 1999, in, and two of them were went within, like, the course of three months or something like that. Like, I really don't care about then, but I just saw, you know, what's that guy that just went into space? Jeff Bezos. No, but, like, there's an old guy, but he... Oh, I got to Google it now because I totally forgot his name, but I thought it was crazy because it said he was 90, and the guy looks like he's 67 max, like... 67 max. Yeah, like 67. Didn't, didn't Jeff Bezos like like uh, fly a air like not an airplane, oh. like a rocket ship into space recently? Yeah. Yeah. With William Shatner. That's who it is. You guys here, I'll show I've never you, heard of I'll him. I'll show you a picture cuz you probably will know then. But this guy literally looks not old and he is 90, guys. 90. Did he use anti-aging cream? I think he has plastic surgery. I'm not going to lie because in ni- that is him. What? <laughs> Does he look 90? No. Yeah. Yeah. Have Handsome you ever seen feller. him in a movie? Well, he looks kind of old, but he doesn't look 90. Oh, my gosh. He does not. He looks like he'd be in a movie. It, He's been in a movie. Have you ever seen, like, uh, Miss Congeniality? Nope. <laughs> uh, I think he was in like She's Star distraught. Trek or yeah Star Trek or Star Wars but one of those like anyway I don't really care about the guy but basically that's what I had to say about that um there's also like a whole big old page on the stock market and like the prices and things which um I'm not gonna lie I had literally no idea what any of it meant but it looked like it could be interesting to somebody our class is obsessed See? with the stock market look at all that stuff if you invested numbers. in some of that stuff, you'd probably be rich. I have no idea how you read that, though. It's like... <laughs> you remember when we went to New York and Oof, we duh. went to, like, the... There was, like, a bunch of, like, stock markets when you were walking down that one street? Well, that would be Wall Street, Abby. Yeah, that's oh. street. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> that was sad. 
I'm just saying. I don't I even forgot. know what Wall Street oh is. Oh, my gosh. That's all right. Okay, I'm not going to explain it because I really don't <laughs> know all that money stuff, people, and businesses. And I just know that people stuff. invest to get more money, and sometimes they lose money, and sometimes they make a lot of money. Yeah, yep. that's all I know about But it. I know there's people in Weibo who even invest in stocks. Mr. Johns? Does he actually? A.K. I don't know. I feel like he doesn't. Would. Um, Isabel's dad. <laughs> I have no idea. Probably. But I think Mr. Johns keeps like in touch with like the stock market. Yeah, because you know he's smart. He couldn't. He couldn't make it out of grad school, but sure thing he, <laughs> <laughs> he can follow <laughs> the, the stock market. market. Anyway, we love you, Mr. Johns. Not really. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> guess how much it cost for a twelve pack of Coca Cola back in the day? I don't even know what it costs now. Five. Fifty six. Three forty nine. A dollar ninety nine. A dollar ninety nine. Oh my gosh. Yes, you what heard me steal. right. One dollar and ninety nine whole cents. Take me back to nineteen ninety nine. I'm gonna go buy me a twelve you can. That's not possible, Ashlyn. You're not in the time machine. Or what's that movie? And the back, back, back to, to the, the future, future. <laughs> to infinity and beyond. That is toys or toys. toys R S. Or- no. <laughs> what is it? Um, toy toys. story. Toy, toy story. story. <laughs> that's what I. That's what it is. Toys R Us. Oh, speaking of, real quickly, um, what do you wait, Abby? You were born in what year? Two thousand and five. And Ashlyn? Two thousand and seven. Okay, and I was 2004, basically. I'm the supreme one here. All this, <laughs> let's go. You're one. Okay, what do you... You're th- acting like Mr. Ego, stop. Shh, shh, shh. Ashlyn. Hey, he's a very cool guy. Ashlyn, what do you think the most popular Disney movie was the year you were born? I really don't know, but I really liked Princess and the Frog. So I think I'd say that. <laughs> I was like 12 <laughs> when that came out. Anyway, it was Pirates of the Caribbean. I don't know which one, one of them. Ew. Wait, you have them, like, researched which one was? Yeah, I did. Like, um, from our year? Yes. You knew when we were born? I She did guess. her research. <laughs> um, Abby, what do you think? Cinderella. Wait, you were six? Okay, I don't even know what this show is. Chronicles of Narnia? I was 2005. <gasps> Narnia! <laughs> Chronicles no. of Narnia! I watched that when I was in, like, fourth grade, and our teacher brought these really yummy treats. Okay, well, I have no idea what that movie is. Football but, boy! But basically, it brought in $291.7 <laughs> mil. That's a dollars. lot of money. Well. Go into the movie business. Guess what? It was my year, which was 2004. Supreme. No, what? That's not a movie. <laughs> I know, but you're Supreme. Oh, I know. Thank you. Um. Guess. I'll give you a hint. It's a family. The Adams Family. Oh. <laughs> No, it's not them. <laughs> yeah, it's family. Days of the week. Days of the week. <laughs> there's Monday and there's Tuesday. I don't know if that's the right way, but okay, anyway. What family? The Incredibles. Oh! The Incredibles. Makes more sense. It makes more sense because you're supreme, you're incredible. It's a thing. Anyway, I that's not going to lie. I didn't really find much out of that newspaper. So, we're back gonna, to 19. Craig and Twyla's first anniversary. Yes. Well, okay, technically it's not their first anniversary. Well, I'm not sure if you they lied. got I'm not sure if they got married in 91 or 93. So, if it was 93, it was the day they got married. But I'm not Ooh. sure. Otherwise, it was like 2 years later. Basically, um Oh, here's one. A Cadillac DeVille. Do you know what that is, Ashlyn? It's a car. Okay. How much do you think a brand new in 1993, how much a Cadillac DeVille would have cost? Well, 20000 Being as money now is like... Being as money is now <laughs> is, is like money. more than it would have, like... Would have been... been yeah. Gotcha. I'd say like... Like 10, 20, 10, 15,000, something like that. I'd say 12,000. 12,000? Okay, I'm not going to lie. This kind of shocked me, like, way much because <coughs> of what Ashlyn tried to just describe. It cost 31,000. 
five like hundred today now. dollars. No, like nineteen ninety three dollars. Nineteen ninety three dollars. Yeah. That's like how much money would that be now? Um, I'm trying to look. I'm guessing anywhere from like thirty five thousand to like. Well, okay, they don't make Cadillac that. Deville Cadillac Devilles anymore. Oh. You know, they, so they have like different cars. So it's like technically, but cars are expensive nowadays. It's ex- it's way more than that, though. I don't yeah. know what. But you could get a three thousand dollars signing bonus. So let's go for buying the car. Yeah, back then though. So yeah. sorry that coupons expired. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! I really know. wanted to use my nineteen ninety three coupon that I had stashed away Stop that my grandmother gave me. Hey, you making fun of me, Grandma? <laughs> <laughs> no, she puts like our little like <coughs> baby clothes that we had in Honestly, the box too. Annika, you, Annika, you know how you used to collect business cards? I do. You or got, I don't anymore, but I used to. You use. got it from your grandma. No, I didn't. Yes, because she collects newspapers. She, she literally just has a box for each of us grandkids. So that Does she have one for like every year or just? Yeah, like every year on, on our birthday. birthday. So like when we're like 90, okay, not 90, but when we're like 38 and have kids of our own, we can go back and be like, what's in this box? And then you find all these old newspapers like... Oh, I remember that. This is the stock market. Yeah, so for all you aspiring grandparents out there, here's an idea for you. Do better. What? Do better. They should do better. They should no. I said it's a good idea. No. Yeah. I'm saying for people that (laughs) want to be grandparents, like are aspiring to be a grandparent one day, here's an idea for you. Yeah. Yeah. Do that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. (laughs) Anyways. Anyway. Um, <laughs> see, okay, you know how I said 1999 was kind of lame? Yes. 1993 is even worse. <laughs> so, <laughs> great. how much do you think, you know what Hardee's is? The yes. restaurant? Yeah. Ooh, do you ever go there? Hot ham and cheese. Ew. Of course you would say that. <laughs> my dad likes Hardee's, so we have Hardee's. to. My dad does too. I think it's a dad thing. I'm pretty it's sure gross. we went to Hardee's one time with our dads. Probably. I like their, oh. I like their curly fries though. They're pretty good. Yeah, I don't understand right. how people like curly fries. Curly fries they literally are the taste like regular fries. No, except they're curly. No, 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 no. They taste Straight fries way are way better. They are literally just curled. Oh my god! They have no, different they seasoning have different, on yeah. them. Oh my god! And they're different color. They're like brown, oh, and no. regular fries are like yellow. Oh, you they have taste different, Be Annika. Quiet. Abby, they taste you don't different. even eat buns with your burgers. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Sicko. Anyway. Fake gluten intolerance over here. She's a fake. <laughs> Got him. Got him. I don't know if that, that was... was that wasn't the right I one to like press pushing there. a button. Anyway, how much did a double cheeseburger cost on a Saturday special? 1993. $3.39. Holy, I don't even think they cost that much now. <laughs> Two dollars and thirty nine cents. Seventy five cents, ninety nine cents. Oh, wait, honestly, why round it up to a one? I was kind of surprised because, like, at, um, what's that place? McDonald's. You can get, you know, those special meals or whatever yeah, they you get, can get now it for like a dollar. Yeah, so I'm like, Hardee's, do better. You're ripping us off. All the way back in nineteen. Yeah, and they probably didn't even taste that good back then. Why do I, I think everything is so much more expensive than it is? What do you mean? Like, just now, like, it was... I know, that's actually kind of surprising coming from a teenager. Normally, you'd think the other way. You yeah. know what I mean? I think... I thought it was, like, $3 or whatever. <laughs> and it yeah. was, like, 99 cents. So, that's kind of weird. <laughs> Ashlyn, why are you not wearing shoes Because right my now? shoes are so They're slippery. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that smell was. Yeah, that stench. I knew it was something. Anyway... Um, do you know what Uncle Ben's pasta and sauce dinner is? <laughs> no, I didn't know what it was either. I'm it. just assuming it's like one of those little boxes with pasta and sauce in it. Or so like, like a it's just jar of sauce for pasta. Well, it says Uncle Ben's pasta and sauce. Oh, so it probably is a box. Yeah. Anyway, dinner. How much do you think that costs? Um like a dinner like Probably like three ninety nine. Ashlyn, 
What dinner? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Teenagers and their cell phones these days. Okay. Rephrase Uncle your... Ben's pasta oh. and sauce dinner. How much? Give it to me straight. One dollar and twenty five cents. Wrong. Teenagers and their cell phones <laughs> I'm these looking days. up a question. Oh sure. It's eighty nine cents. Eighty nine cents. Eighty nine cents. That is a cheap dinner right there for a family of five. Yeah. A family of five for Ben's Well, this is just like the noodles, I'm pretty sure. Like in the box. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna Google this because Neither of us know what this is. Neither. There's noodles. Mm, sorry, Ashlyn. Noodles and sauce. <laughs> what? Ashlyn has the giggles today. <laughs> yes. How I do you not think that's funny? Noodles and sauce. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so funny. <laughs> I know it is. Uh, uh, uh. I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> Sorry for your ears, not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea if you have what that was. Um anyway. Noodles. <laughs> I don't even know where to go with this, but basically a sixteen ounce bottle of Gatorade, right? Yeah. I don't know if this is a good deal or not. Well, yeah, it probably is. You could get two. Not one, not three, just two for one dollar. Two for one? So they're like, like, what a deal. They're like, they're like two for four now. Yeah, like, that's ridiculous. if you get them at a gas station, it's probably like a dollar. They're ripping us something off. Something at least. What a steal, man. Let's back go back. then. Yeah. Yeah, let's go Take back. Take me back. Back to the future. <laughs> that was the past, not the future. To Shoot. infinity and beyond. Right. Toys R Us. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, here's a little fun fact. The Pittsburgh... Wait. What is Pittsburgh's mascot Steelers. for MLB? Oh. Pittsburgh. Chickens. The Pittsburgh chickens. <laughs> the St. Louis... Is it the Cardinals? The Cardinals, yeah. Cardinals. Five to four in 11 innings. Actually, uh, yeah. do you know how many innings are in a regular MLB game? Isn't it like three or four? Oh my! <laughs> two, <laughs> two. I don't know. I don't MLB want MLB. I don't We're talking want about baseball. baseball. It's nine, honey. <laughs> nine <laughs> is my final answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe like three or four. No, it's two. Shut up! <laughs> wow. I don't watch Choose baseball. A nicer word. Nine is my final so answer. I was, I was just going to ask if you've ever been to an MLB ba- game. Yes, I have. MLB I've been game. to a lot. <laughs> oh, okay, well. No, have you? Know I've been to two Rockies games. I've been to a couple of Rockies games. No, just games one. And a couple of... Um, Sorry, I lied. A couple of uh, Minnesota Twins games. One time we went to a Minnesota Twins game on the 4th of July, so we got to see their fireworks show. And then I'm pretty sure I went to one in San Francisco, too. Oh, nice. How many states have you been to? 68. Uh, there is not even 68 <laughs> states, Annika. I know, I was kidding. Um, I've been to like 17, 23, 52. I'm not really sure. Fifth, Abby, 50 let's think max. about this. When you? We, when we went to D.C. and New York. We, we went, went to, to at least five states. Maryland, Virginia, Minnesota, New York. Minnesota, what? Airport. <laughs> we didn't even fly through Minnesota. But we've, it was Chicago. <laughs> Was it actually? <laughs> yes, I'm pretty sure. On the way up there, we went through Minnesota. On the Denver, way back. we went through Denver on the way up. Oh yeah, we did. Anyway, New York, Maryland, Virginia. I'm pretty sure New Jersey because I remember stopping at a gas station. Vermont? No, I don't know. I remember they said there was five, but I don't remember what the other. So one we was. went through five states. It might have been Delaware. Is it yeah, close? it was because we went through that uh, one place. Gosh, I don't yeah, because it had. New Jersey and yeah. Ben Delaware t-shirts. Yeah, so there's five. Then we got Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, Minnesota. Wyoming, and Colorado. So that's like Have you guys six. ever been to like Disney World or Disneyland? No. Oh. <laughs> My parents didn't love me. I have. I've been to Florida for Disney, whatever. I don't yeah, know. actually. 
Yes, I'm being Disney serious. World. Okay. Sorry. Disney World, when I was a kid, I was like five when I went, and I was a kid when I was growing up. No way. Wait. We miss you, Rylan. Hope you're listening. <laughs> that was Mr. Ego. I but have I been Mr. to Florida, Texas, Ohio. Did you drive to Florida? No, we flew. You flew to Ohio? What'd you do in Ohio? Well, I went there when I was like three because my aunt used to live there. Oh. Wait. What'd you do in Texas? Went to a Cowboys game. Ooh. Ooh, I want to go to a Cowboys game. It'd be a good year to go because they're actually decent this year. Yeah. (laughs) Shots fired. I don't even watch, but. What is your favorite state that you've ever been to? Texas. Minnesota. 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 You said Texas. Minnesota. I was expecting you to say South Dakota because normally that's what oh, you say. Oh, I do like South Dakota. South Dakota is fun, but I like Texas more because it's like farther, different. Oh. Yeah, because South Dakota is kind of like. The, sorry, if you hear me chew him. <coughs> <I'm> hungry. <coughs> South Dakota hungry is kind of like school, here, just different scenery. Yeah, I feel like South Dakota is very pretty, though. Yeah, it's it more is. More like pretty. Don't you think South Dakota is kind of like. It's not like, I feel like it's more like central Montana than it is eastern Montana. It definitely is not eastern Montana. And yeah. it's not western Montana. Because, like, they have mountains, mountains with quotes. But they're not, like, they're just, the Rockies. They're just hills with yeah, trees. The, yeah, filled yeah. with trees. And honestly, I feel like the trees are the prettiest part about it. Yeah. But Minnesota Especially is in pretty the similar. Winter. Except Minnesota doesn't really have the hills, does it? Yeah, but it's flat and it's got lakes, lakes. and trees. Yeah, like lots, lots and lots, lots of lakes and lots and lots of trees. I mean, my God, I liked. I went to Indiana and went to Notre Dame, and that was really pretty. It was like in winter; it was really cool. Wow, you guys have much more interesting lives than me. Apparently, I've wow. only been to like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven states. Well, here's something. This um. So, like, in between basketball and track and golf, so that'll be, like, Marchish. My mom said we can maybe go to Arizona oh. for the, yep, for the, um, like, preseason. And is that what they call it? The, like, a Dodgers game? Or spring yeah, training. Cool. Spring yeah, training. spring training. Yeah. So, that's fun. That'd be cool. You've been wanting to do that went, for a while. The last time they went, they didn't take me. That's rude. Arizona seems fun. It just seems so dang hot, but I'm down for it. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Like, anytime, I'd go to Arizona anytime except for, like, June through July. I'd go in August, but it'd still be Wait, super hot. You guys know, like, when you go to, like, a big town, everyone goes to, like, Top Golf. Have you guys ever gone to Top Golf? No. No. But they're getting one in Billings. Are they actually? Yeah. Alpine that surprises buy, like, me. Shields are, like, where oh. Crumble Cookies is. I'm surprised that it's would, big enough to get a top. I don't golf. know, but I'm Jack because I've I've never been to top. Always golf. wanted to go. Yeah, I, I know, everyone talks too. about it. Oh. she can't relate. Hashtag state golf. Woo! Anyways, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, Jose, can <laughs> what? you? All right, thanks for joining. Oh, oh, big ideas. Thank you for joining us on today's episode of Small Town Big Ideas. Join us or um, watch, watch us on, us on Apple, Apple Podcasts, Podcasts. Hush. and Spotify. Spotify Podcasts. Podcast. <laughs> 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 Peace out, homies. <laughs>